Our position previews for Liberty football continue on LibertyFlames.com. I'm Alan York, now joined by running backs coach Jamal Fobbs. And obviously to state the obvious, a uh, little shake up in the depth chart with Des Rice not being around, although he is at practice this year helping the guys out. So that elevates DJ Abner uh, to the first string running back position at tailback. Uh, what has he done this summer to prepare uh, for an increased workload? Oh, he's done a great job. Um, you know, DJ has done everything we've asked him to do. Uh, he's worked really hard, been here all summer. Uh, has really improved his body and also, uh, you know, mentally and physically. You know, with the, um, you know, you know, the video game and, um, you know, and the physical part of it. And um, you know, he's done everything we've asked, and he's he's ready to go. So he's fired up. What do you think is his biggest uh, exploit that he brings to this team? Uh, I think he brings a different sense of explosiveness to the uh, to the group. Um, we know he has some speed, you know, a little bit more speed than some of those other guys. Um, but he's also has added, you know, the inside run game, you know, throughout the years that we've, um, you know, given him some plays. I thought we've done a nice job over the years of, of just kind of bringing him along slowly and not giving him a whole bunch, so he can his confidence can continue to grow, and um, you know, he's done a nice job with that. Being an every down type of back, what does that take? And we talked about the increased workload, which he will have physically. He looks really good. But what does it take in this offense to be that every down type of player? Well, you know, just to be the every down guy is to be able to be in on third down. You know, when he's got to protect, you know, he needs to protect. Um, you know, on third and short, you know, we. Um, you know, we give him the ball to be able to get that tough yard. Uh, so, you know, he's able to do some of that stuff this year, and um, and that's con um, you know, you know, congratulations to him because you know he's really worked hard and actually gotten that part of his game, you know, a lot better. Uh, you know, some of his flaws, but uh, he's excited and uh, he's ready to take on the challenge. The next player we'll talk about, Jamal, is Josh Smith, the guy that uh, redshirted last year, a uh, little bit like DJ. Always has a lot of energy when you're around him, and I know when you redshirt, you uh, kind of take a back seat to everybody else during that redshirt year. But you learn a lot. So for Josh, what did he learn last year, and how can he help this team? I think he learned, uh, you know, the expectation, you know, of our offense and our football team. Uh, I think he understands now, you know, the consistency that we uh, want to have at our position group and on our offense, and I think he's taking that on, you know, head on. You know, he understands, you know, he's been in the offense a year now and he knows what he needs to do on certain plays and he knows how he can get those done, you know, uh, you know, compared to his, you know, you know, what body type he is. And, uh, you know, he's going to add to our offense too a lot of different things that we're going to do and um, he's going to help us a bunch. Todd Macon was another guy, Jamal, last year that we heard a lot about during practice. And uh, even in the preseason now, his name is starting to pop up when you talk about the running back. So uh, what does uh, Todd Macon bring to this team? Well, he's another guy uh, like Josh, you know, that, um, you know, the red shirt last year. And, um, you know, he's another one that really has has understanding the consistency that we want, um, you know. But then again, uh, you know, he's a different body and different style than Josh. Uh, you know, so we may ask him to do some different things. And um, the big thing is that, you know, each one of these guys are really, really excited about the role that they're going to get. And they're ready to fit into that role and, and, and actually do it, you know, to the best of their ability. So, uh, you know, those guys are going to be ready to go. Todd is ready to go. You know, he's really changed his body this summer. Uh, he's worked hard this summer, and, uh, you know, he's excited also. There's also a guy I want to talk about, Austin Kegler. And you talk to anybody on your team, and you're smiling right now as we talk about Austin. Scored a couple of touchdowns last year. And there may not be another guy on this team that the entire team was more proud of, the job he did last year in uh, a very few minutes than Austin Kegler. So when I mention his name, why do you start to smile? Well, because I know how far he's come, um, you know, and what he's done to get to where he is right now. Um, he's a kid that's a hard-nosed kid, that he's going to do everything you ask him to do. And, you know, you pull for those types of kids, you know, and they work hard and, and do the right things. And, uh, you know, he has really done that, has made tremendous strides in getting better in the offense, knowing what to do, and actually improving himself, you know, as a back. And, uh, you know, he's going to help us this year also. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to see a guy like that, you know, be able to have success. And another guy I was watching at practice this week, Carrington Mosley. Uh, you always want to talk about building depth. And with him, it's another guy you can plug in there to get uh, a couple of yards. Exactly. You know, he's another big body, uh, you know, that, that has some skill and has some ability, you know, to do some things outside. Uh, he's also, you know, a local kid, you know, that everybody knows about. Uh, and uh, he also adds depth, you know, to that group to be able to protect and, you know, be the every down guy that we're asking to be. So, you know, he's going to be ready 
ready to roll also. And we've talked about Des Rice, obviously. We, we, we hurt for Des, but he's uh, taken his injury and turned it into a positive. So what kind of role do you have for him this fall? Well, I think Des is, is going to help the group mentally. Um, you know, he's going to bring the group along, and, you know, he's going to be able to sit back and watch from a different aspect of it, you know, from a, a spot that he hasn't been able to see in a while, and he's going to be able to see little small, the you know, little adjustments, you know, that the guys need to do. And, uh, and you know, I've given that, you know, given him that role mentally, you know, to keep him locked in mentally. And I told him, you know, if he sees somebody that needs a little something adjustment, feel free to go over there and talk to him about it. And uh, I think he's taking that on and he's still trying to stay locked in and rolling. Jamal, we always appreciate your insight. Thanks for the time. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. That's Jamal Fobbs, running backs coach here at Liberty University. And for more preseason previews of our positions, be sure to stay logged on here to LibertyFlames.com. For the coach, I'm Alan York for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.